Welcome to Dab Padu. Hello friends. Hope everyone is doing good. So in today's video I'll show you how to convert this simple ready-made blouse into a designer one. If you know a little bit of sewing you can make it in an hour or two and you'll be good to go for any emergencies. So this is the plain blouse which I have which had dories I have removed that and the sleeves were short so I'll show you how to design the neck and the sleeves and waist part. So this is I've taken an A4 size paper and inserted it so that I can take the measurements and we will need this paper for sewing also. So I'm marking the center portion of the neck. I'll make it a high collar neck. So I'm taking this and then leaving around one and a half inches wherein um, the quarter inch will be for the seam or one centimeter will be the seam and neck depth uh, I'm not keeping it much for the back because it will cover with the collar so take the equal measurement and leave a seam allowance at the back around one centimeter and cut the paper so for the top I've not left much space because later we can cut while sewing so the same I'm repeating it for the front also because this is a front open so I'm making it in two parts as shown you can design it but the neck step should be little more for the front part so this is how I've marked and cut both the pieces for front and back and keep equal distance from the neck till the shoulder line so this is my sari which is a simple one which is a little silky fabric which has a shimmery border but which is not uh, visible uh, this shimmer border is not visible on the other side so I can directly use the fabric if you have running blouse you can use that so the depth is 6 inches I am adding one for the seam elements so that it can be used in the top also now measure the uh, circumference of the uh, depth of the neck like this so that we can have a straight fabric which can be attached to make the ruffle for the blouse I'm marking seven inches and I will cut this fabric in a straight line now from one side of the fabric just add a simple running stitch they need not be any frills automatically on the top neck part you will get the frills so just run through a simple uh, line on the sewing machine so this is how I've added the fabric you can attach with the zigzag also for securing it as I did and now just make small ruffles small small pleats at the neck portion as shown maybe it is not very clearly visible because it is a dark fabric so I've added I'll turn over see just added this and for the shoulder portion I have left it like that only I did not add the uh, sewing on it so the front also have closed like this so now we will cut the fabric from the front because when ruffles are there it won't be even so I've just taken uh, the depth also and this is the back portion I hope you can see the frills very neatly over here so you can cut uh, according to your collar length which you are making so I am just leaving the same one centimeter of space and I have uh, cut the excess fabric so now I will attach the shoulders if you can see I have added the shoulders and we will make a small around one inch of collar for it we will just take a bias and add it to the shoulder and from the bottom you can just do both the right side together and give a simple one stitch that we can add and add the collar to it I'll show it to you so this is how I've taken the shimmery little bit of border and just given a bias for the neck and added a hook you can add a hook on the top also or you can add any show button now for the sleeves I will make bell sleeves over here so this is just like an umbrella cut I've taken the measurement of the uh, sleeve and you can uh, decide the length it should be minimum of around two and a half 
however I am taking here 5 to make it um, look more prominent so just mark the same length as we mark for the umbrella skirt or anything this is in double fold so that we will get it on two sides and leave little seam allowance at the edge in one small portion you can complete you don't need much or excess of fabric to make ruffles and this you can use for bias in collars or uh, according to your need for the blouse so I'll just cut the fabric over here this will help you for bias also as I told so this is how the sleeve is cut I have just picoed it in one side and I will add this portion directly to the sleeve just hem it with zigzag so that it will be more secured so this is how I have added the sleeves to both the hands of the blouse you can uh, see how beautifully it has turned out to be if you want you can uh, stop over here and use it as a crop top or if you just want a little further enhancement you can add to the waist also a small ruffle so I've decided to add a ruffle at the bottom also so what I'm doing is I'm just taking the around 5 inches of the fabric from that running blouse and I've just picoed it one side and I've just given a very wide stitch and pulled it so that it will make a very slight uh, ruffle uh, kind of thing small small pleats if you get you will get so if you have excess fabric you can just give a normal one uh, centimeters of pleat if you don't have you can make this a small frill idea like this you can just pull it over and you will get a ruffle and push so I have attached that also and the shimmer part I've kept it at the front and this is how our beautiful designer blouse is ready from a simple ready-made blouse to a designer blouse which matches your sari. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, share my work and subscribe to my channel. Namaste.